now, love. She's doing that shit! She has not let him piece it down She will again. not she... let him down. It's just nerves. I'll sort it. Love, the two of you in there together will just wind it up. Leave it! You just get at me! Do you hear me? So what's all this about then? I'm gonna nail that bastard Corker for what he's done to me. Right in the same fucking garage where I killed his snot faced swat of a son. Well, here. He fingered me! To the law! Okay! Okay! Shouldn't use what you sell, you know. Different product, different market. Those kids couldn't afford these. But they did help fund my habit. Are you gonna do it now, then? I've got a better idea. We're going to a wedding. You what? During the photos, when they shout father of the bride. Pops popped. Follow that wedding car then. Well, where is the bride's car? OK, OK. Look, I don't care what car you send, so long as it's here in ten flaming minutes. Got it? Thanks. <sighs> Sorry, love. Um, <laughs> Great big smile. <laughs> Not too late to pull out, you know. No chance. I've waited a long time for this, mate. OK, so... i will start getting ready. If I can get Frankie out of the bathroom. <laughs> She's still paranoid about her eyebrows. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? You know about, about me and Frankie. <laughs> We're here for my wedding, mate. Frankie's my pastor. This is my future. Carl will be here soon. Bit of engine trouble, apparently. Oh, soddy. Oh. It's a long way to walk, you know. Dad, I told you, I'm not going. I can't. And why is that? I just can't. Peter deserves more. You what? You heard. Well, I heard the words, all right. It's the thought behind them I want to hear. Would you marry me? Lindsay, I'm your flaming dad. I mean, knowing what you know about me as a bloke, would you marry me? <sighs> Love. Peter knows all there is to know about you. He probably knows more than I do. And he's waiting at the church for you. To marry you. So, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. 
he loves you. I know he loves me. That's the problem. Well, don't you love him? Yeah, I do. And? Well, I know him. I know everything about him. And doesn't he know you, like? No. And do I? I think I better phone and say we've been delayed. Mr. Green, um, I've just had a call from the bride's father. There's been a bit of car trouble and they're likely to be 20 minutes late. Oh, right. Um, is that a problem? What? Oh, some problem with Lindsay's car. Well, it's nothing catastrophic, but I have to be away by three. Why three? So, um, what's the latest time we can kick off? 2.30. Well, any other day. But I did explain to Mrs. Chalmers that I was squeezing you in. Oh, that's much appreciated. It's just that, um... Well, it's the South Preston Morris Dancing Knockout Cup quarter-finals tonight. I must be there. And, um, do you stand a chance? First time we've ever made the quarter-finals. So, you see... Yep, no, no, yep, yeah, we understand, um, she'll be along. Right, good. Well, um, I'd better, um... Right, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Yes, he is. And he's doing me a huge favour, so don't you upset him. <laughs> no. They're going to have to let me in. Why is the Reverend doing you a favour? Oh, he's got the hots for one of me customers, I don't know, the local vicar's wife or something. <laughs> Shall I give Lindsay my mobile number? I said Mum to ring him all the time. Good idea. Wouldn't want to stop him polishing his bag. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <Lord. laughs> Good. Mm. So do you. Right, I'll, um, I'll see you later. Darby and Joan gang in just as I was about oh, to lock. Never mind, go and get changed, but there's only the bride left over there now. Wrap these for us, will you? Just go, will you? I hope you laid my clothes out, Jeeves. Feel more like the bloody penguin out of Batman in these. Yeah, okay. Ten more minutes. I know I've asked this before, but... Is this anything to do with all this? Barry? I'd be lying if I said no, but... not directly. Then what? I want to try and help Linz. Do you think my mum would have married you if she'd have known how you turn out? Well, none of us know that, love. I do. Go on. I've seen it, Dad. I've seen the life that I want. And I've seen what I'll have to do to get it. Oh, right. And Granty showed you, did he? Oh, he opened the door. But I walked in. <laughs> You'll have to make it a bit more simple for me than that, girl. I'm only a teacher now, remember. I want to be like Rose Finnegan. I'm still listening. Oh, she's got it all. Money, lifestyle, the lot. But she never had to worry about spilling chippy fat on a four-quid poxy jumper. 
or asked herself for what's sensible rather than what she wants. And I bet she never started married life in a flame and converted garage. Everywhere she goes, people know her, respect her. I want that. Well, don't you think you should be marrying a gangster, then? Instead of a hairdresser? I mean, is that it? You don't want to marry Peter because you'd rather be a gangster's mall, dripping in gold and jewellery, permanent suntan and a fortress in Marbella, huh? Not knowing when the knock or the bullet is going to come to take out your Mr Perfect. Is that what you really want, eh? Being at someone else's beck and call, having to act deaf, dumb and blind? No, of course not. Well, that's what you'll have to do, love. But you're too much like your mother for that, aren't you? Or do you think we'd still be in this place if she could keep her nose out of oh, things? Oh, give over, Dad. You know that saying, behind every successful bloke... There's a long-suffering woman, yeah? It's like everything else in life, love. It's a partnership. No bloke can succeed at anything unless his missus is ready to get in there with him. And in our game, that means the three monkey stuff. See nothing, hear nothing, say nothing. Which monkey do you think your mother is? Guess not. That's what got me out of the drugs. We could have had it all then. It nearly killed you, Dad. And it killed little Jimmy. You don't have to remind me of that. I've spent this last week knowing where our little Jimmy's killer is. I'm wanting to go after him. And when you found out, what did you do? I asked you to leave it. Exactly. And if you weren't like your mother, you'd have looked the other way while I sorted him. It's not you, girl. You're not cut out for that life. Don't you think so? No, I don't. Well, what? Is there something here like I don't know? You're wrong, Dad. It's you that's not cut out for it. I didn't ask you not to go after that Rufus fella because I was frightened of what you'd do, but because I was frightened of what had happened to you. I wanted a wedding this week, not a funeral. You're split nerves. You ask me to back off. And if you really wanted to join the likes of the Finnegans or Barry Grant, you'd have driven me there and held me coats. No, I wouldn't, cos that would have been stupid. I'll do what that... Shitbag Rufus in my own time. You are? What's really going on here, Lindsay? You'd be better acting deaf, dumb and blind. You are? I'm your dad. I've been there, I've seen it, I've done it. There's nothing you can say or do that would shock me. What's this sodden church? Did you do business studies at school? Piss off. I did. Look at that. Well over a hundred grand in there, one month, from a few snotty-nosed kids. What are you on about? Scale, isn't it? Volume sales through branch outlets. Five dickheads like you with ten users each, seven days shopping. Oh. I'm one of these. Are you really gonna pop Corkle? He's an emerging threat to my market. He is. So, Pop, no wedding, one funeral. <sighs> You've got me there, girl, I'll admit. But why? Gary. So that's why he didn't turn up in court. He wasn't going to get near Kylie. You didn't? Kill him? No. Only because it wasn't loaded. <sighs> but I hadn't put the magazine in. But when I did, if he'd have... If he'd have just... I 
That's it, don't it? And I take it Peter doesn't know that bit. And if he finds out after we're married... Right there, Dean Martin. You what? Or is it Spencer Tracy? What are you on about? You know, Spencer Tracy, the father of the bride, he did the black and white version, and Dean Martin did the remake. Simbad, uh, what do you want? Well, I'm not here for the wind the money, am I? You, the father of the bride, me, guest at the wedding. Where's your head, Jim? Ooh. How's your Lindsay? I'll tell you what, hope her head's clearer than yours, mate. You'll never get to that church. <sighs> yeah, she's, uh... Fine, we're just waiting for the car, you know, it's a bit late. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 shall I take mix as well? Oh, yeah, great, that's nice right. Yeah, uh, wait till I leave this? Yeah, thanks, Tom. I'll see you at the church, OK? OK? <sighs> All right, Jimmy, relax, it's only a wedding. Yeah, sorry, I'm just a bit wound up about our Lindsay's car not turning up, that's all. Well, what's the score with that? Well, engine trouble or something, it'll be in a minute. Well, if it isn't, me and Mick will take it in the van. I mean, we're going to be hanging around here for half an hour if he's doing his hair. You know, Mick doing his hair, it's a joke. Yeah, see ya. you got the wrong outfit on, haven't you? It's the bloody undertakers you want. You what? Last time Corkle was at a wedding, he killed my son. All right, man, all right. Yeah, now he's off to enjoy his own kid's wedding, isn't he? And the only flowers I ever see are on my son's grave. All right, man. I hope the bride has not ordered a Rolls Royce, because Corkle forces him through walls. Next time, kill one of your own kids. Hey, Ron, come on. That's all water. What, water under the bridge? Look, you, I know we haven't seen eye to eye recently, but you're not stupid. And when I see that, lighten to that. Well, what the hell do you expect me to think? He killed my son. At least that feels the same. Am I allowed to do that to you too? You can give us a kiss then. That feels the same too. I'm supposed to be getting married today, you know. More's the pity. Hey, you had your chance. <laughs> You'd have dropped dead on the spot if I'd have said yes. Probably. So I'll come here with Dad and then. Age. Oh, what? Well, I got tired of an apple a day and a suitcase full of moose and travel adapters. Oh, so what is it now? An apple pie and pennies in the kitchen? Faxes and booking forms for other people. How about you? Still got the salon. Plan on starting another in the local health club. Oh, you could do better. Sold my suitcase. Listen, I'm, um, I'm sorry about, you know, missing you that last night. Well, I got your note. It wasn't your fault. I know, I just... just hated not saying goodbye. Well, we both knew where it was going. Or wasn't going. Wrong time, wrong place, eh? A bit like now, eh? <laughs> so... I'm really looking forward to meeting Lindsay. Oh, yeah. That's if she ever gets here. The world revolves around your kids, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah. All this is about Kylie, really. I could go into this without too much bother. But, well, Peter's the third bloke I've been with in the past few years, and, and with all this Gary stuff, I, I just don't want to mess it about in the future. <laughs> Peter will make a great stepdad. Oh, I know. He is now, really, but... What if a few years down the track it all blows up? I mean, <laughs> I've put him through too much already. God knows how he ever puts up with me, let alone wants to marry me. Perhaps because he loves you. But that's just it, Dad. 
How can he love me if he doesn't really know who I am? I mean, one day, he could just open a drawer and find something like this. I frighten myself over what I might do sometimes. Hang on, hang on. Are you actually telling me that you would use this again? I mean, I don't mean like with Gary. I mean, I can understand that up to a point. He was threatening you and Kari. OK, yeah, I'll go along with it. But are you seriously saying that you've kept this under there because you might want to use it again? Yeah, if he came back. Or someone like him? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Jesus fucking Christ. Do you realise what you're saying? Yeah, I fucking do. Would it be so hard to take if it was little Jimmy sitting here saying this instead of having been killed in this room? Is that the real problem, Dad? Because I wear stuff like this or that? I should be in the kitchen being one of them monkeys. Full of surprises today, aren't you? Yeah, I am. So, is it right or wrong to marry Peter when he doesn't really know who I am? Oh, I think he knows who you are, love. What? He knows who you are and what you can be. Same way I've always known. It's about being in control, isn't it, love? About not having to listen to some pig, thick, no mark, telling you what to do. Or having some snotty-nosed, plum-gobbed, middle-class tosspot looking down the beak at you. All because you need to keep in the good books. Because you haven't got enough money to buy a decent pair of shoes. Then you get yourself into debt, don't you? Up to your eyeballs. Because you want, for one day, to be like them. Pretend. On your daughter's wedding day that's... you're as good as them. I'm sorry, Dad. It's not your fault, girl. It's the way it is. Some of us have got to be on the bottom of the shit heap for the others to stand on. I never knew you felt so bad. Only now and then. So, I won't give you too much grief for that. For rapists like Gary Stanlow. So, what should I do about Peter? Forget that. Are you 100% certain that he loves you? I think so. And are you 100% certain you love him? Yeah. Then in that case, if he does find out, it won't matter. But like your mother, life's a lot easier if some things are left unsaid. So, get rid of that. The car will be here in five minutes. Let's make your mind up time. Why don't you flash the lights and blow the horn in case they haven't noticed us? I thought she might have seen me! She doesn't know us yet. But she will. I thought you wanted to pop cork Hill so it got as much publicity as possible. We're better than our daughter's wedding. Father of the bride shot. No, slain at wedding. Good headline, that. What in? Farmers Weekly? I'll call the papers myself then. I was shocked. Bystander. Don't be stupid! No, please, no! Look, you said don't attract attention! Better get going then.
You look lovely. Again. <laughs> mm. Thanks. What for? Listen. Hey, all parts of the service for my little girl. <laughs> now, if the car turns up, we'll be laughing. Well, what did they say? Any minute. Oh, Sinbad dropped that in. His and hers. Well, this is a joke. I'm going to give him another ring. <laughs> Come on. Hey, what do you think? Nice one. <laughs> oh, no, I don't believe it. What? Aye, aye, big fella. I might need you down here. Hey, Ron. Stay out of this, you. Ron! Come on, what are you going to do with them bricks? Something I should have done years ago. Oh, now your beef's with Jimmy, not with Lindsay. Oh, behave yourself. They're all tarred with the same brush. Now get out the way. Come on, Ron. Hey, lads. Hey, you can keep out of this and all. You want to have a pop at Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> I know I said I didn't care what you sent. Well, granted, it's not what we'd have expected to see in this situation. You are? I would never expect to see that on my daughter's wedding day. Now, who'll be looking at a silly old car with that picture of loveliness in front of them? Well, never mind about her. No, 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 I'm gone. This is about her. This uh, is her big day. That's why we thought it was better to send this rather than nothing. You what? I'd rather go on the friggin' bus than get in that monstrosity. Come on, Dad, we're late enough. Lindsay, we have paid for ah, this. I know there'll be a substantial discount to be negotiated after the wedding. Just drive, will ya? <sighs> Things true to form so far. What? A typical Corkill wedding. At least we're having one. OK, they've gone. Let alone you two would stick up for that scumbag. We're not sticking up for anyone. We're just trying to stop a dickhead doing something really stupid. Hey, he killed my son, you know. All right, Ron. And what would you know about it? Have you ever lost a son? I'm all right most of the time. It's just now and again, like... like when I see him still getting on with his life. Hey, listen, you know what I said before about water under the bridge? I know it never goes away. We've just got to move on. I've been through enough, but it's even worse if you hang on to it. I mean, Jimmy's not the same drug he was. I mean, he's changed. He's... He's what? He's a teacher. Listen, he's a cork. He'll... He'll never change. I have to admit, it must be hard. I mean, I still remember how my stomach went when you told me about Tinner trying to run our Leo off the road. Well, thanks, mate. It was me who was after you now. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, I do. Listen, you better look up and get ready. And don't forget to do behind your ears. And hey, comb your hair. Days. Um, half an hour, I'd say now. Thought we'd get across and do a recce, wouldn't we? I thought you'd left all that behind. I'd do anything for old times' sake. Oh, yeah. So, it's your last chance. For what? To step out there into your future, away from your past. Wrong place. Long time again, eh?
Yeah. Okay. Got that. Right, love, will you take them in? She's on her way. About half an hour, I reckon. Half an hour. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's traditionally bright and late, isn't it? It's all right. A little bit late. She's on her way. About half an hour, do you reckon? What's up with you? You haven't been using what you sell, have you? No, I'm always like this when I'm about to see someone shot. That way you only beat up girls. Piss off! Anyway, you're not doing it, I am. You couldn't piss in a bath for state you're in. There's just too many witnesses and cameras! Okay. Back. Anyone would think it was your wedding. Hey, it's not every day you get the chance to dress up to the. Uh, what do you reckon? I reckon we should get going. Everyone's gone except us. With Jimmy out the way, he can't get up to much harm, can he? Yeah. Open there. So what happens now then? We wait. They stop at traffic lights. Turn right. And as they start to pick up speed, bam. You're gonna ram them? Yeah. That's my car and I haven't finished paying for it yet. What the hell is going on? Ah, she's a bit temperamental when she's hot. But like most women, well worth the wait. Have you got your gun in your garter? Because I could shoot him. Shh. Oh, I knew I was pushing it. Tempting fate when I said it was a typical core kills wedding. I just don't want to end up having to run to the church like we did for our Billy and Sheila. Calm down, Dad. We'll get there. There we go. Move it! That's for my money back. these bastards up to for Christ's sake. Get back inside, Lindsay, you'll ruin your frock. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Ow! Back. Typical, isn't it? 
case of the core kills. Oh, oh. Make the run! Quick! Oh. 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 Car! Car! Get him out! Just go! Bow, Dickhead! Oh, God! Oh. Shit! Oh. Why are you here? Sheila, stop! Stop! Go on, we're lying to here! Come on! Put it in reverse! <laughs> Come on, don't hang about! Get going! Okay. Be a corpus wedding without a tribe of gangsters chasing each other all over the shop. So, are you going to tell me? Thanks. How come I've just become a getaway driver? Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. We're out with the bully backs here, aren't we? Hey, could be Dick Turpin for all I know. I didn't invite them. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh. Let's hear it, Dad. One of the fellas in that car is the one that killed our little Jimmy. Which one? The one waving the gun All around. The, best. <laughs> the one waving the gun around. Who do you think? How do you know? I went after them last week. You what? Oh, terrific! You promised me that down! Look, why don't you go inside and clean yourself up a bit in here? Jimmy, get on the phone and stall them for a bit while we figure this out. Before those madmen come back and shoot us all. That was the car company again. There's, there's been some sort of minor accident. What? It's all right, it's all right. No one's hurt. And as soon as all the legalities are over, somebody's given a lift here. Who? Oh, has some motorist, I think. Well, why don't we just go and get them in the bridesmaid's car? Oh, that could take longer. Especially as they seem to have got it all sorted. And the car company is sending another car straight here for later. Oh, look, it'd be best to wait. Oh? And who might you be when you're at home? Hiya, Jack. I didn't see you arrive. No, I noticed. You've been a bit busy. I'm Frankie. Well, I'll take it you were Johnny at some point. Yeah, a long time ago. One of the times Lindsay gave me the elbow. I never did meet your mother, Pete. I'm the bride's mother, love. That's close enough. As it looks like there's another delay, uh, do you think we should tell the vicar? Yeah, I'll do that. You coming in, Jack? No, I think I'll keep an eye on things out here for a bit, love. Know Pete well, did you? Intimately. to the wedding car driver. We must still be in the field. Can I lend your phone? Hello. 
Oh, that's better. I'm sorry about all this. It's all right. I wouldn't expect anything else. <laughs> yeah, that's right, in the middle of a field. Well, I don't know, he must be a rambler or something. Okay. Sorted. Paramedics will take care of him, no bother. So, what happened? Uh, what? There's a girl in school. Susan. Susan Clark. I figured out she was a smackhead. Just like our little Jimmy was. And I found out a dealer was working for the psycho who killed our little Jimmy. So I followed him. This Justin one. To his flat. And she was there. Susan. Terrible state she was in. Beaten up and OD'd by that... That piece of filth. And it... It looks so much like when I found our little Jimmy. This little figure. Just like her. Back like a baby. All curled up on this grubby, horrible bed. Lying in her own vomit. I'm sorry. Congratulations. Oh, fuck off, will ya? <laughs> Okay, this girl. Yeah. I took her to the hospital. I know I said I wouldn't go after them. But I went back. All right, Lindsay, I know it's stupid, but I wanted to get them. I wanted to get that Rufus one, didn't I? <sighs> the big hero. As usual, I screwed it up. I had him. I had him right there in front of me. I'd nicked the car. I was going to run him down. But I just couldn't do it. I just... couldn't pull the trigger, see? Is that why he's coming after you now? Your mother couldn't keep deaf, dumb, or blind. She called the busies, didn't she? Well, why didn't they lock him up? <laughs> How long have you been married to Uncle Billy? He'd been out on bail within a couple of hours, as he obviously is, looking for whoever grasped him up. To make an example of them. And you think he'll do it at the wedding? Kill you in broad daylight? Yeah with as many witnesses as possible. Well, you might think that, but not at my wedding, he isn't. Oh. Lindsay, where are you going? Where do you think? Oh, go to the church. If he's followed somebody here, I'll know where I am that. not going to the church. And what about Peter, hey? He will think you're definitely not coming now. Why don't you just call him, tell him what happened? Oh, that the bride's trying to stop some druggies from wasting everyone at the wedding. All right, well, maybe we should just cancel the whole thing until we've sorted this guy, eh? Postpone it. Get on the phone, she Get Barry up here, smart oh, as she. and that'd go down great with Peter, wouldn't it? One whiff of all this lot and that'll be it. He'd be off like a shot. And who could blame him? You're only storing up trouble for yourself if you don't tell him. And that's my business, isn't it? I love him, Sheila. I've, I've treated him like dirt in the past, but I want to spend the rest of my life with him. And if one more lie makes that possible, are you going to deny me that? 
No, no, of course I'm not, love. What did I ask? How long have I been married into this family and had that son of mine? Well, will you go to the church and, and tell them about the accident? <laughs> and that I've um, gone to get changed. Yeah, but... We could do with someone there to calm my jacket down, she. You know, she'll be spitting feathers by now, winding everyone up over this accident line. Then they'll start investigating it and... Oh, shit. Can lend that phone again, she. All it'll need is for Peter to call the car company and they'll know nothing about that accident, will they? <sighs> Hello? Yes, uh, Sergeant Dickinson here. West Lancashire Constabulary. Yeah, I'm afraid one of your vehicles has been involved in a road traffic accident. Uh, no, it's not certain at the moment, sir. Have you got anything you can change into? Well, I've got a suit when I thought I was doing the whole registry off us, be. Oh well. Nearly made it. It's not exactly what I wanted, but I thought we'd been sensible this time too. One day, eh? <laughs> How many times have we said that over the years? You're doing alright though, aren't you? I do, I suppose so. What's up? Oh, just a little fallout with Billy. That's why I'm here. Left Tracy's wedding a bit early. But she had a nice dress. <laughs> yeah. So, what's happened with Billy? I'll tell you later. Right. That's that sorted. So, how do we get back then? Well, I suppose we'd better phone a cab to pick us up here. Oh, look, you take my car. It's easier for me to get a cab. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. No doubt this accident is an act of God. And that's one of the most frustrating things about working for the man. He is so unpredictable. But he must also have had some hand in setting the quarterfinals for tonight. And I really can't let the rest of the lads down. Well, what about after the, um, the dancing or whatever it is you do? Yeah, there's a post-match celebration planned. Win or lose at the Ring of Bells. And I'll get you and the lads a drink, win or lose. Yo, uh, very well. Yeah, I'll be back about four. And let's hope the bride is. Does that include the substitutes? It'll include the crowd if she ever turns up. Where's the wicked witch then? Which one? Get a stay of execution. Tough four. What now? Well, I don't fancy going back in there and telling Jackie. Never mind the rest of them. Best man's job. Darren. Worried whether she will or won't turn up. Won't. I love her, Frank. You loved me once, so you said. I probably did then. Is it a possibility that she won't turn up? Oh, yeah. Shay, you get going. We'll take 
take this. Tell Peter I love him. Okay. Genuine, Jack. What, love? The phone call about the accident just seems a bit odd. <sighs> These things happen, don't they, love? Yeah, around Lindsay, they do, yeah. She wasn't having any doubts, was she, Jack? It wasn't no more than you'd expect, love, you know. Well, I wouldn't expect any, actually. You know what I mean. No, I don't. Do you want to tell me? There's nothing to tell. What's going on, Jack? All right, I mean, she was having second thoughts, you know, just before I, knew I left. It. I knew there was something. Look, Peter, all brides get like that. And how many have jibbed the boyfriends just before, Jack? I'm sure everything will be all right, love. I mean, Jimmy's assured me, you oh, know. Oh, well, that's all I need, isn't it? An assurance from Jimmy. What's going on, Pete? Nothing you need concern yourself about. Go and get Dad on track. What are you going to do? I'm going to go and find her. Well, you don't know where she is. Well, it's better than standing around here like a dickhead, isn't it? Although I've had enough practice of that lately. Look, love, if she wasn't going to turn up, you wouldn't have had that phone call about the accident, would you? She's right. And if you go charging off somewhere, she could turn up any minute. None of us know what's going on, do we, love? But if she has pulled out, I'm sure even Jimmy would have been able to get a message to us. And I'll put money on the fact that whatever is happening, it's something to do with Jimmy and not Lindsay. Let's just, you know, give it a bit of time, eh? She's right. Shaved her in the car, she they won't be. Jerry! All right! right. to you in a minute. No! Come on! I can't stand this anymore. I'm going to phone the car company again. It was here. Cork Hill's robbed it. We shouldn't have left the keys in. You left the keys in the car. And you didn't have the bottle to let me pop them at the wedding. No, it was you! You said I don't want no witnesses. Like here. Let's go. Where to? What do you think a woman would rather do? Turn up in a ripped frock or go home and get changed? No! Let's go. Some police sergeant's phoning with the news. Well, at least we can be grateful no one was hurt. I mean, I suppose we'll just have to wait, won't we? Still got a good hour before the dancing vicar gets back. Shall we get everyone over to the hotel? Yeah. Right. Are you coming, love? I'll be along in a minute, Jack. What about you, Frankie? Right, 
go up and get changed. Ah, Mr. Darren Green. Yes, Sergeant Dickinson, West Lancashire Constabulary. Yes, that's correct. A low traffic accident. Mr. Corkill asked me to call and assure you that um, everybody's fine. And I've been taken to um, Queen Mary's Hospital. No, no, no time at all, just a precautionary measure. <laughs> No doubt they'll call themselves when they are able. But they should be on their way to you any time now. Look, I'll have to go. I've just seen a speeding motorist I need to persecute. I mean prosecute. It's almost second nature, that. Is this a good idea? Well, it's the best one I've got at the moment. And I've seen it work twice in the last year. Come on. I'll do my makeup in the car. What are you doing with that? Something I should have done years ago. Hold on, Ron! Get out of the way! Calm down, you. Okay, now then. Lindsay, don't! Don't worry. Shoot him! Get in the car! What? Did you really think I was... <sighs> you were reaching for it, weren't you? Only because it was falling out. Oh. What do you think I am? Kylie and the others? Oh, yeah, fine. On to the third banana split. <laughs> Paid for by Auntie Frankie. Just hope they don't bring it up all over the dresses before the service, you know. That's if there's ever going to be a service. Who is she, Peter? Auntie Frankie. She's my best man's girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> we go back a long way, Jack. Didn't look that far to me. OK. Nearly everyone is over the hotel getting a bite and a drink. I've spoken to Grants, warned them about knocking the meal back an hour or so. God only knows if anyone's going to be hungry by then. Anything else? We'll just have to hang on, I suppose. I hope she's not going to be too much longer. I'm a bit worried about the light for the photo. I could shoot a few before the dancing vicar gets back. Listen, you know? just get in touch with the car company and see if there's any more news, OK? OK, thanks. Hi, um, it's Darren Green again. Yeah, how are you doing? Um, any news on our wedding car yet? What is the check? You want to know if Auntie Frankie was before or Jordan or Lindsay's time? Can you tell me? And what about the time she spent with Barry Grant? 
just don't want you spoiling this all over for the sake Hang on a second, Jackie. Who's the one standing alone in an empty church? Lindsay or me? Right. The car company do have one of their drivers in hospital, but he was found in the middle of a field. A field? And the car's disappeared without trace. Oh, my God. Who's that? Sheila Grant. Oh, well, that answers everything, doesn't it? How bad is it, Sheila? How bad's what? You're here, aren't you? It's got to be bad. Still not turned up, then? No, but the mother of all nightmares has. Well, the last place you want to be is in there with all them men. Come on. God, what's going on? Brilliant, brilliant. Come on, come on. Here they come. Foot down. Was this accident before or after the wedding car mysteriously disappeared? The driver left in a field? I mean, what's happened, Sheila? Have they been abducted by aliens? Well, I picked them up after it happened. Well, why didn't you just bring them straight here? Look, can we go outside? Why? Uncomfortable lying in church? I haven't lied to you. I don't need to lie to you. Why didn't they come straight here? Because they didn't want to come straight here. Well, why not? Well, would you turn up for your wedding in a ripped frock? I just remember wanting to get there. Hell or I wore, so wouldn't have stopped me. Well, how do you know Lindsay isn't in the same frame of mind? At least she's called Peter. She hasn't left him standing in the dark like a lemon, like I seem to remember somebody left me. Oh, yeah. Jimmy was in charge of getting Billy there too, wasn't he? I'm sorry, Sheila. It's just, I don't know what's going to happen these days with them two, you know? And I don't know which one's worse than the other. Have you forgotten who my son is? How could I? We hadn't a swan in and out of our Lindsay's life last year. What? This wedding wouldn't have been delayed by an hour or so because that's all it is, a little delay. Is it? Well, you tell me. And that's all our Lindsay said, is it? She had to go home to change her stockings. And a frock. What happened to her frock? Well, I got there after it happened, but it was ripped, you know, from the ankle right up to the hip. Well, you can ask her all these things when she gets here. And she is definitely coming, is she? Well, that's what she told me. Shall we uh, go and get a cup of tea or something? Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, you a navigate. Yes, look, right, left. Someone wants to go left, you go in that direction, right? So you're doing it again? You kept saying right after everything. It's a way of saying OK, right? If people want to go left, you say go left, right? You don't say go left, left. There you go. All right, girls, we haven't missed it, have we? Missed it? Oh, yeah, right. Everyone's over at the hotel, except for the bride. She left before us. Yeah, a long time before us. Yeah, well, there was a bit of an accident. How bad? Well, just bad enough to cause a little delay. Oh, I'm not surprised at that heap they ended up with. What did I tell you? We'd make it before then. Right? Is she, um... This hasn't got anything to do with someone called Rufus, has it? Oh, I knew it. Jimmy, the plant pot. I told him not to get involved. Well, I don't think you have much choice. Any idea where they are now? Is that the best you can do? Well, the last thing you want to be is Sozzle walking down the aisle. Nope, she won't show. Not with Granty knocking about somewhere. Well, why should she want to get married to you if she's still carrying the torch for him? Maybe it's because I'm available and other people aren't. Or wait. No well, time will sort that out. Or perhaps it's a choice between the safest and the most dangerous option. Was that that dangerous? 
I meant me being safe as a dad for Kylie. You make a wonderful dad. Yeah, we'll never know now, will we? Missed the moment. I remember thinking like that in that hotel room. Still do sometimes. Really? I should have grabbed you while I had you. Frankie, I can't. I can't. Oh, it's only me. I've got things to sort out. Well, that'll wait. What about Darren? This is the nearest we'll ever get to marriage. Why do I always choose women like you and Lindsay? We never did say goodbye. Is this what this is? And Jackie doesn't know anything. I've been asked not to say anything. It's no wonder Jimmy's been doing the Dean Martin bit. Who? Oh, no, Dean Martin. You know the remake of Father of the Bride, Spencer Tracy. That's Steve Martin. Oh, no wonder Jimmy didn't get it. <laughs> sure you don't want one of these? No, I'm fine. I'm going to go next door for a bevy in a minute, anyway. So, um, this Rufus fella's been hassling there, Lindsay. Mm. They said they were going home to let Lindsay get changed, but they'd have had to shake those other two off somehow. Well, do you want me and the big fella to go and look for them? Where? They could be anywhere. Is it still always like this up here? Not quite as sedate as Basing Stoke, eh? Who hardly? Hey, it's all up in the air, you know. Oh, aye. Apparently, Susanna Vaughan has been up and given Max a good slapping for something, you know. Go away. Yeah, straight up. And Rachel, Jackie, and Katie are all in the bar. Talking of which, can I get you something? No, I'm fine. Oh, fine. Oh, uh, seems it's all going on in the bar, then. Uh, come ahead, Michael. See you. Hey, Hi, Jack. Uh -huh. I went to Kylie once more about where her mother is. Oh, thank God our Val's here. Is this mine? Yeah. Sinbad was just telling me he split up from that call. Yeah. After all that business, you know, after the gas explosion. Oh, hey, yeah. I remember seeing that on the telly. You know, this must all be pieces lost. I don't know any of them. Imagine how I felt in Australia at Tracy's wedding. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I never asked how come you're here, you know, without Billy. Mm. It's OK. Same reason we're both sitting here wondering what's going on. We're only call kills by marriage. Well, something happened out there, did it? Yeah. Doreen. Well, I suppose Tracy'd have to invite her, wouldn't she? I mean, she is her mum. Although, from what I've heard, she's been hardly a mother to those two. Didn't she go on the game or something? Oh, well, Billy never gave me the gory details. Not that I'd have wanted them. She'd ram them down your throat herself, that one. Yeah, well, that's precisely what she did do. Well, you know, after the usual, I'd come between her and Billy. It started with the photographs. She just wanted another photograph of her and Billy and the kids for old times' sake. <laughs> you can imagine how I felt. What did Billy do? Oh, the usual. Turned the other way. It was down to Rod to sort them all out. Do you know, he's turned into a lovely lad. Oh, for the copy. <laughs> well, there's always one black sheep. It was the evening do where she really got into her stride. Half a gallon of Aussie lager down in her doubt. <laughs> she was rotten. <sighs> I got so angry. I kept my temper in, I think, because she was so rotten, but in the end, I gave it all to Billy. What did he do? He's keep the peace at all costs. I mustn't make a scene at my daughter's wedding. God, wish I had the chance to tell you. I, um... I told Billy it was over. I said I wanted a divorce. <laughs> Stupid, really, isn't it? I think I could cope with the ex by now. Jealousy, I suppose. Of it? It was just the way she could breeze back in and get hold of Billy again. I could see it in his eyes. The way he stood, the way he spoke to her. It's a potent poison, isn't it? Shared past. <sighs> I felt like a cheating schoolgirl again. It made me so angry. You've got nothing to worry about from me. I mean, the only thing wrong with Billy Corkle is he thinks by not confronting a problem, he can avoid it. Yeah. And you know, I was 12 hours into the flight when I realised that's exactly why I fell for him. If it had been Bobby, he'd have slapped her and all hands would have been in. All involved, all tearing each other apart. <laughs> 
And when I got home, there was a note and a huge bunch of flowers saying he was sorry and, well, he'd be on the next plane home. Did you get them sent from your own shop, the flowers? Oh, yeah. Now I'll have to pay commission to the overseas dealer. Typical bloke. Bunch of flowers solves everything. So while I was at home, I thought, well, I'll go up and be the family ambassador. I just wish we had something to celebrate, Sheila, I do. I take it Tracy actually turned up, did she? Oh, yeah, yeah. She turned up. Where is she? Where in God's name is she, Sheila? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just back, 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 right, right! Even though it was here, this place. I did. You're useless. Lost them. Oh my God, you're not going to go through those fucking gates, are you? There's no other way in. Today. I'm not about to ruin another one. Come on, will Come you? Come on, put it on. Really don't. Try and calm down. She'll turn up. It's not just her I'm worried about. It's what Peter's up to with Frank. Oh, come on, Jack. They're grown up now. <sighs> don't even feel like that myself. Sometimes. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not, it never is. I try not to let it get to me, you know, but... Sometimes I just get so sick and tired of it, Sheila. I really do. I mean, is it wrong? Is it wrong just to want one day? Just one day where everything goes as you'd expect? Just one? Depends what you want. Oh, and I shouldn't expect any better, you mean? No, no, I didn't. No, it's all right. I've been married to Jimmy long enough to know I shouldn't expect too much. But little Jimmy and all Lindsay running around with all sorts of no more gangsters. No, I don't mean Barry. There's been others. There's Jimmy. I mean, he's worked really hard, you know, to become a good teacher. Yeah, Billy said. And then he starts messing around, chasing after drug dealers in school. I mean, he's only known her five minutes and he's lending her his coat. Chasing around, trying to get her off smack. I mean, fine chance of that. And did he? The only thing that gets them off is themselves. The 
And then Big Lick starts chasing round after Mr. Big because he reckons he's the fella who killed our little Jimmy. And did he? <sighs> the only person who killed little Jimmy is himself. He got himself into it. As a so-called grown up. So what happened about the drug dealer? I don't know. I phoned the police, you see, you know, to stop Jimmy getting into more trouble. Didn't you think that was a bit stupid? Wouldn't it be a bit dangerous? What was I supposed to do, Sheila? Let Jimmy get into all sorts of trouble himself? Yeah, but didn't you think the drug dealer might want revenge? You didn't think about that, did you? No. No, I didn't. Yes, Sheila. I mean, why should I? Why should I have to? Why should I be sitting here wondering where my husband and my daughter are on a wedding day? And don't you tell me it's normal. Just a little delay. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to think it was, but knowing our Jimmy and Lindsay, it's bound to be something else, Sheila. I just know it is. Now, if you know anything, will you please, please tell me? Billy, <laughs> what are you doing in Bahrain? Is in Bahrain? Oh, very nice. Uh, no, no, it's 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 all right. Um, so that means you'll get in about. Yeah, well, I'll pick you up. No, 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 I want to. Hang on, where are you going? Back to reality. You get back to yours. Hello. No. Well, <laughs> nothing I want to get involved in. Oh, we have Darren. Have you seen Peter? He's downstairs, isn't he? Would I be up here if he was? Come out where you live for him, shall I? Wrong time, wrong place, eh? Oh, definitely. <laughs> wrong. Wrong time, right place. I made the mistake once of letting you go when I could have had you. And then not saying goodbye to you. One for the road. meant to do. Well, I have noticed. <laughs> Remember last year, you know, all that business with Lindsay being kidnapped by them Finnegans? This is worse. Well, then I knew what was happening, but... Yeah. Oh. Where do you think they are, she? Wherever Lindsay is, it's where she wants to be. Is it? I wonder if I'm to blame, you know. Whether I stuck my nose in too far, as usual. Whether I should have just let her get on with Barry, you know, and not kept on and set up on pizza. I mean, perhaps she was just doing all this, you know, to keep the peace. Lindsay isn't like Billy Jack. She's got a mind of her own. She'll do what she wants to do. And as for our Barry, he's still married with two kids. That's what Lindsay walked away from, not because you were nagging her. Yeah. Probably knew that, didn't I? <laughs> But what, same as Doreen, being a mum isn't just for Christmas. <sighs> well, we've all got to learn not just to let go, but 
when to stand back and not say or do anything. What like? Hear, see and speak no evil, you mean? <laughs> well, we've become past masters at the art of what the eye doesn't see. We've had to. And the hours have had to think about that since last year. It isn't easy, you know. It isn't easy to discover that that little baby whose bottom you washed and polished, those little knees that you stuck plasters on, those little arms round your neck while you chased away their nightmares. It isn't easy to find out. Well, to find out that they've actually gone out and killed somebody. Where does it all come from? Eh? From us. What? Well, how many times have you stood on a corner somewhere or in a queue of people talking about the latest child molester or murderer and... And how many times have you said, if that happened to mine, I'd kill him? That's not the same. No, I, I, I'm not saying it is. But how many times when you said that, have you had a little one standing at the side of you? I mean, we never say, may God forgive them, and what they need is a good course of therapy and social rehabilitation. No, we say, I'd kill them. I'm sorry, Sheila. You may feel that about you and Barry, but I've never given any of mine that impression. <laughs> well, you're only kidding yourself with that line. You stood in front of our Barry last year and you said you didn't care what happened to Ron Dixon, you just wanted Lindsay back safe. You didn't care what happened to him. I wasn't talking about him being killed. Weren't you? You didn't know what you were saying. You wanted your Lindsay back at any cost and you wanted Barry to do it, no matter what it took. What the eye doesn't see. Right, well... I'm going to the loo. And then I'm going to go back and see Billy. And sort my own marriage out. This place? One of my little adventures with Barry last year. And is it a good idea? Well, it's the only one I've got at the moment. And we've got to stop running sometime, somewhere. Okay, so what are you... What are we going to do now? I don't know. Whatever it takes. What, well, anything like? So while we were bailing in on Ron Dixon, Susanna was doing the same thing with Max. Well, and Alan Max doing the business with his best mate, Mrs. A. He's nearly as bad as you. Hey, behave. Tell you what, I'm glad Fee's got appendicitis or whatever it is that kept her from here today. Hmm. Jesus. You know what we should do, don't we? Go on, impress me. Me and you should cop off with a couple of married ones, shouldn't we? Well, who gets the bloke? <laughs> oh, no, you know what I mean? I mean, two women, both married, both want a bit of knocky on the side and not wanting anyone to know. You reckon? Oh, yeah. yeah, what about them two there? Fucking <laughs> hell. Okay, no. <laughs> no, no, you're right to get back for Billy. God knows when they'll be here, if they ever turn up. I'm sure they will. And you're right what you said before, weren't you? About morality being a personal thing. We all do what's good for everyone, as long as it's good for us. I will kill anyone who disagrees. I've looked everywhere. No sign. Dancing Vic will be back soon. been practicing like I'm not gonna get caught like I was with Gary. Oh, Ron Dixon was right, wasn't he? Eh? By your past catching up with you. Well, why else would we be here? Eh? Dressed up to go to a wedding week to shoot someone with the flaming chippy pennies on. 
Um, sorry, love. It's spoiling your big day. It's not over yet. And you didn't spoil it. You've tried to sort your life out and make up for things, haven't you? Hey? You've worked really hard to get over all this druggy stuff. Little Jimmy and Tony Dixon. It's these that are trying to spoil everything. I did only come to wave the flag. Okay, she, thanks for the effort. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. You know, I really did think she'd come. Yeah, well, I'll tell you how to go. Yeah. My love. Tra. You all right, Jack? I've had better days then. You don't know anything, do you? What about today? Oh, only that they left before us. Well, where are they then? Oh, well, they'll turn up. Probably that Uki car. He sent it was a right wreck. They could have got a taxi by now. Well, it's a bit woolly back, isn't it? They're probably waiting for the stagecoach. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I appreciate the effort. But we both know Jimmy and our Lindsay, don't we? And what she's done to Pisa before. I suppose they always knew she wouldn't come, you know. Whatever she's doing, she'll only be thinking of herself again, as usual. No thought for anyone else. Your kids have caused me nothing but grief, do you know that? Join the club. I could waste you right now, but what good's that to me? You're a nut, are you? Do you know that? Yeah. And I want everyone to know it. Maximum publicity, high profile. Do you know where you're going to get it? Well, just do it if you're going to do it! No. No, I'm not here. In the middle of the estate, that's where you're getting it. So your blood's nice and fresh. Hot and sticky when they find you. You do want a good splash in the echo, don't you? Dead druggies, Dad. Slain seeking revenge. Good headline, that. Oh, that old one, is it? Don't mess with Rufus Carmichael. Works every time. Out again, you have Corkill. Are you gonna let this kid die like you did the last one? Not a very caring father, is he? Oh. Come on, get up! Lindsay, don't! Oh my God. 
Well, any result? No sign yet. How'd you get on? Semi-finals. Next week. Good. Um, is that drink for the lads still on the agenda? I don't think any of us are in the mood for that right now, Your Reverend. Well, I'm not due to ring a bells for another hour. Let's give him one more chance. Him? Mysterious ways. Mysterious ways. Oh, yeah. His mysterious ways. There must be over a hundred grand in this bag, kid. More than that scumbag's worth. You did well back there, you know. Some bottle, love. Yeah, well, fellas like him and Gary really wind me up. Brain between the legs all the time. So I noticed. Well, don't you think it's time to stop, eh? Get rid of that gun. Stop. Stop! Go on, stop! What's up? Where are you going? Excuse me. 1500 right? Two grand. Made it. Oh, love. You look. You look. Oh, come here. Oh. Hey. You know what day it is today, don't you? The best day of my life. Friday the 13th. Oh. Come on. 